12 of the world's most insane engineering marvels. Number 12, Palm Islands. Located in the United Arab Emirates, the Palm Islands represent the largest human-made islands on the planet. Famous English footballer David Beckham pre-ordered a villa on one of the islands in 2002. While the islands are a worldwide draw for wealthy tourists and an amazing feat of construction, they have also drawn the concern of environmentalists. During dredging work, the only known coral reef off of Dubai's shores was destroyed. Turtles' nesting spots have been destroyed, and the ocean's natural currents have been rerouted. Of the three Palm Islands, only Palm Jumeirah is fully complete. Real estate company Nakheel Properties is responsible for the islands and also built the nearby world, a group of islets built in the image of the Earth. Number 11, Three Gorges Dam. Though this project is an impressive engineering feat, the fact that it has had grossly adverse effects on both human beings and the environment temper the excitement behind its construction and existence and make the Three Gorges the most notorious dam on the planet. Regarding installed capacity, the dam was the world's largest power station when it became fully functional in 2012. It has a total length of around 1.4 miles and a height of 607 feet. The dam also displaced a reported 1.3 million people, though that number is disputed and may be even higher, flooded archaeological and cultural sites, and caused significant ecological and environmental changes. The drastic changes in reservoir water levels have caused an increase in landslides. Experts feel that the sheer weight of the reservoir's water could cause earthquakes. Animals and plants are threatened due to changes in their environment and fragmentation. Number 10, Large Hadron Collider. When it started up on September 10, 2008, the LHC became the largest and most powerful particle accelerator on the planet. Resting inside the Kern Collider Complex, it's buried at a depth of 575 feet underneath the border of France and Switzerland. The collider is composed of around 9,600 super magnets that fire protons around a circular track at unfathomable speeds. Particles in the machine are made to collide going as fast as possible to create the highest amount of energy. Physicists, including Stephen Hawking and Neil deGrasse Tyson, are concerned about the machine and its potential to create a mini black hole that would destroy the planet. Number 9. The Falkirk Wheel To connect the Forth and Clyde Canal with the Union Canal in Scotland, engineers built the Falkirk Wheel, the world's first and only rotating boat lift. Completed in 2002, this unique marvel stands 115 feet tall and is made of over 1,200 tons of steel. Powered by 10 hydraulic motors, the Falkirk Wheel can transport up to eight vessels at one time on a journey that takes one hour to get from one canal to another. It's an impressive and imposing sight that has become a tourist attraction in the country. Number eight, Panama Canal. In 1904, the United States began building what would become one of the greatest engineering accomplishments of the century, the Panama Canal. The monumental project would span a decade and face countless obstacles. At the onset, the ever-present threat of malaria claimed lives and scared workers away from the site. Luckily, Chief Sanitary Officer William Gorgas knew that the disease was carried by mosquitoes. He had recently been in Havana, where he directed a controlled strategy to eliminate the disease-carrying insects. With Gorgas's vital help, malaria was eradicated from the isthmus by 1906. Though it would take three different project engineers, 56,000 workers, 10% of whom lost their lives constructing the canal, and $375 million, the Panama Canal officially opened on August 15, 1914. The channel's importance is hard to understate and easy to see on a map. It connected the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, saving ships a dangerous journey around the southern tip of South America. Number seven, the Channel Tunnel. It took almost 200 years and cost $21 billion to complete the Channel Tunnel, an underwater passageway between England and France finally opened in 1994. French engineer Albert Mathieu put forth a proposal in 1802 of a tunnel supported by wooden beams that would be lit by candles and could be used by horse-drawn carriages. British media and political pressure over national security would halt the project. Later in the century, the sides would start construction on a tunnel, but political differences would again stall the attempt. Finally, in 1988, the successful project would begin. 23 and a half miles of the completed 32-mile channel tunnel lie underwater, making it the longest underwater tunnel in the world. Number six, Chandra X-ray Space Telescope. Along with the Hubble Space Telescope, Chandra is one of NASA's most advanced space observatories. It was appropriately and fittingly named after an Indian-American astrophysicist whose work on black holes earned him a Nobel Prize in Physics in 1983. Originally launched in 1999, the observatory's longevity and scientific value has made it one of NASA's most successful missions. In 2014, Chandra observed the awe-inspiring Tycho supernova remnant, which was created by the explosion of a white dwarf star. Number five, Shasta Dam. Stretching mightily across the Sacramento River in Northern California, construction of the Shasta Dam took place from 
1938 to 1945. Once completed, it would back up water for over 35 miles to form Shasta Lake, California's largest reservoir and a place that is visited by millions of vacationers annually. Frank Crow, who had just helped finish the Hoover Dam, oversaw the entire project, which included 4,700 workers, building what was, at the time, the second largest concrete dam in the country. 12 million tons of gravel was needed for the project. Luckily, a substantial supply was located in the nearby city of Reading. To transport this large quantity of gravel, the world's longest conveyor belt was constructed. It was 9.6 miles long and operated 24 hours a day, seven days a week for several years. Number four, Milau Viaduct, soaring high above the clouds. The world was captivated by the Malau Viaduct when it opened in December 2004. The idea that the viaduct only took three years to build is almost as astounding as the bridge itself. Towers on the incredible structure rise to a height of 1,125 feet, making it the tallest bridge in the world. Seven pillars weighing 700 tons each were built for the project that had to be put in exactly the right place for the bridge to be a success. Multiple satellite signals were used to help pinpoint the right spots for the pillars to be accurately spotted. Bridge specialist Michael Verlagu and renowned British architect Norman Foster were employed to design the Malau Viaduct, which is widely regarded as an engineering marvel that has no equal. Number three. Hubble Space Telescope. Anytime you hear news about a new distant star or planet found in outer space, it was likely discovered with the use of the Hubble Space Telescope, which has rested in low Earth orbit since 1990. It's named after Edwin Hubble, who took the largest telescopes of his day to the Mount Wilson Observatory near Pasadena, California, and discovered countless unknown planets and galaxies in the 1920s. Experts have published over 14,000 scientific papers using data from the Space Telescope, making it one of the most productive instruments of science in history. At long launch, it weighed 24,000 pounds, and today it is 27,000 pounds and 43 and a half feet long. Number two, Hong Kong International Airport. Though the Kansai International Airport in Japan was the first to be entirely built on an artificial island when it opened in 1994, it lies on soft land that has been sinking much more quickly than anticipated, ultimately making the project a potentially colossal failure. The Hong Kong International Airport was a little more successful. The project took six years and around $20 billion to build, making it one of the biggest projects in the aviation industry. It lies on Czech Lab Kok, an island that is mostly made of land reclaimed for the construction of the airport. The 24-hour airport is one of the busiest in the world and holds one of the Earth's largest passenger terminal buildings. Number one. ISS. The International Space Station is not only the largest human-made object in orbit, but it also represents a collaboration of nations around the world. Five space agencies, NASA, Russia's Roscosmos, the European Space Agency, the Canadian Space Agency, and the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, representing 15 countries, were involved in constructing the $100 billion station. The structure was taken and built piece by piece in orbit and has been continuously occupied since November 2nd, 2000. Current plans call for ISS to be in operation until 2024, by which time some of its first components will be nearly three decades old.